Hi. I am trying to muster up a smile on my face. It has been um, a week. Oh, the boss is here. She is doing some dramatic snoring again. She's going in and out of sleep. So, you know, I just kind of quick, you know, glanced out of her at the corner of my eye and she's got like one eye open staring at me. So we'll see if we can get through this video without her either having serious dramatic snoring or a sneezing fit, which this is like the fifth time I've tried to record this video. Um, it has been difficult. <laughs> You know, I kind of use this channel as my outlet because I don't have the money to travel anymore. And so I'm kind of drawing on my past travel experiences. Um, obviously, I am a travel agent and um, I'm trying to build my business. But you have to have business in order to travel and experience more. And it's kind of like this vicious cycle. It's just, um, it's starting to be tough. My aesthetics business is currently struggling. Um, a lot of people in this area are getting laid off. Um, and I really have never been able to recover since COVID, so, and I also use this channel as kind of like a happy outlet, um, away from, I take care of a parent who has dementia. Um, it's very isolating. It's very lonely. I don't really have anybody to talk to about it. And yeah, so I was actually feeling really good. I was riding high. I took some time off for myself. I uh, had a really good time visiting family and, uh, you know, when I left, I was really excited. I felt like I got into a place where I was starting to build an audience, even though it was a small one, but I kind of had escaped that 200 view jail. And uh, yeah, I've returned and most of my videos since then have not even broken 100 views. And so I feel like I'm starting at square one. I'm not getting anybody who's interested in booking travel. I'm not interacting with the people I was interacting with before so I'm just I'm just feeling really down uh it's kind of hard to be a failure <laughs> sometimes you just hope for the win I'd like a win I would anyway that's not what we're here for we are here to find out what's happening this week so let's get to it All right, before we get started, if this is your first time here, hi, I'm Gretchen, the Tipsy Travel Gal. I am a licensed esthetician and a travel agent, and it is my goal to eat, drink, and spa my way around the world. Of course, bringing you with me, showing you some really cool things, some fun things to do, as well as some delicious things to eat and drink. My hope is that it inspires you to travel, whether that be international or domestic. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Also included in the description of this video is a link to my GoFundMe. Check it out. Um, if you have any extra cash to spare, I would really appreciate that as well. Okay, as you know, I always do my disclaimer for the what's happening video. I am not omnipotent. I don't know everything that's going on around the world. I wish I did. So there may be something that's going on in your neck of the woods or something that you find really fun to do. And I'm not going to talk about it. And that's not because I'm avoiding it. It's just because I don't know about it. So first of all, don't get mad. Trust me, my psyche cannot handle meanness right now just comment below letting me know what's going on if it's continuing on next week i will talk about it next week and if it's not i will happily put it on my list to cover when it happens next year i'll also give you some other ways to contact me at the end of the video but again please no hostility i just i don't think i could take that right now still have a lot of things kind of going on from the beginning of the month. Uh, we've got a lot of flowers blooming around the world, but this week we're going to focus on food and we're going to head to Dubai. Starting on April 19th and running all the way through Mother's Day, May the 12th, is the Dubai Food Festival. It is entering its 11th year and I almost wasn't going to discuss it because honestly I was struggling to find any concrete details when I did the top of the month and that I pulled everything together on the 31st 
knowing that it started on the 19th, I couldn't find any information about it anyway other than stay tuned. <laughs> Now I do actually have access to a website, Visit Dubai, that is kind of highlighting the Dubai Food Festival and I can talk a little bit more about it. Now this website is where you can make reservations, get more details on the restaurants, buy tickets, all that kind of good stuff. So if you were interested in the Dubai Food Festival and it is running for quite some time, I would highly recommend checking that website out. So Really, the Dubai Food Festival kind of encompasses four different things that kind of come and go and start and stop uh, throughout the time period that this festival is running. First and foremost is Dubai Restaurant Week, which of course starts a week into the Dubai Food Festival and then still runs to the end. So yes, it's more than a week. Um, but the Dubai Restaurant Week is where 50 of the most prominent restaurants in Dubai have been selected and they are creating tasting menus for any age, taste, budget out there. You know, top end, we're talking 55 US dollars. So they are reasonable meals. You can go to the Visit Dubai website and see a list of all the restaurants and view their menus to see the cost as well as get reservations and or tickets if needed. Another component to the Dubai Food Festival is the chef's menu. Now this starts in May, May 1st to be exact, and it runs all the way through the end. The restaurants that are participating, the head chef picks their most signature and or best-selling dish. Not only do you get to eat it, but they will be interactive with you. You're definitely going to need tickets and reservations for this. Go to Visit Dubai to get that done. Another component is the foodie experiences. And again, this is for all ages. In fact, the picture on the Visit Dubai website is children. And this is where you can take cooking classes or you can take master classes. And they also have the forehand meals where you assist the chef in the cooking. Again, uh, go to Visit Dubai for the schedule of events as well as reservations and tickets for those. But if you are just wanting to go and try a whole bunch of yummy and delicious food throughout Dubai, but you don't want to break the bank, that is where the fourth component of the Dubai Food Festival comes in, and that is the 10 dirham dish. Now, 10 dirham is like less than three US dollars, so, so you can go to the restaurant and try one of their signature foods for 10 dirham. Again, Visit Dubai has a list of all the restaurants that are participating and their tender ham dish. And you can basically just jump from restaurant to restaurant, trying these as you go. So if you're looking for some good food, some fun classes, or just a really deliciously relaxed time in Dubai, the Dubai Food Festival may just be for you. And that is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if there is something that I missed, please either comment below or you can go to any of my social media accounts. I am Tipsy Travel Gal, all one word, on all of the major social media platforms. Or you can go to my website, tipsytravelgal.com, go to the contact me link on the homepage, and you can send me an email from there. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week. I am going to try to turn mine around and turn this frown upside down. So until the next time, bye.